today I have a couple of um, different images that I used and these are saturated canary and they are by Krista Smith so I'm gonna start with this one and I have to tell you a funny story about this one I was creating this to make a shaker pocket and I adhered my um, my fun foam to pop it up before I put the acetate over it so I ended up making it like a shadow box for her and it turned out beautiful and I love it and I just love this is one of my super favorite images um, from Krista and um, I used this die set um, let's see who's this by It is by Marianne Designs. So, um, Paper Collection is by the same digital company I've been using uh, lately. And, um, gosh, I just love this image so, so much. So, this is a gatefold. And it opens like this. So, when, when it's open fully, that's how it looks. And I just ink the edges around the, the sentiment area. This flips over like that. And there's the back. This is a great collection called Valentine. And as you can see, you could use it for any time of the year, but if that's what it's called. And I have a little heart pull tab back here for the photo mat. I actually I'm going to make some more intricate gatefold cards to share with you guys. These are rather simple gatefold cards, but um, I really like that one because of the image and the papers. Um, my next one I'm going to share with you is, is this one. And these are actually super gorgeous papers also. And you're looking at it going, that's not a card. No, that's an envelope. So I created this envelope to go with the card because I wanted to show you how these gateful cards and even easel cards, um, if you don't embellish them much, can fit inside uh, a flat envelope. Now this is going to take more stamps than your traditional um, card because this is heavy. It's got a lot of paper in it. So honestly, this might take three or four stamps to mail but this can go in the regular mail I sent my mom one yesterday in an envelope I made and actually put five stamps on hers but um, that's because I put extra stuff in it so you can see it just slides in there or out of there <laughs> and this is the sweet image that I used for this card and, I, you know, a lot of times I don't put a sentiment because it can be used for any purpose. I know there's a little gift here, but this card could still be used for any purpose. Once you put a sentiment on it, it has to be used for the purpose of the sentiment. So, this card opens up like this. Beautiful, beautiful papers. And I think this is... Um... Well, this is definitely the same um, digital artist, but look at that. I just love it. So um, I went ahead and I couldn't really pop anything up to pull from. So I added this little um, punched edge, hoping that would help. <laughs> so that's our photo mat. And this paper I used on this particular card is a thinner cardstock. I don't know, a lighter weight cardstock. Um, and so even though all together combined, it is a little bit on the heavy side. I mean, because it's obviously a lot of it, um, including the card. Um, it's still better when you're going to use, um, try to mail it in an envelope if you use the thinner card stock because it's going to be cheaper to um, mail it so all right I'm gonna take her back out 
set her here. Let me know what you think, which one you like the best, and if you want to tell me why, you know I really like that. So um, I'm going to do a tutorial. The envelope's like so, so super easy um, with the punch board. So I'm sure you guys have seen a million of those, but I'll go ahead and do it um, in conjunction. Um, but I will be doing a tutorial soon. So thanks for watching. Happy Scrappy Day. Bye.